In today's video, I'm going to introduce you to the world's most powerful geology learning tool, the Layered Earth Geology. Hello educators, my name is David Farina, and I'm an Earth and Space Science teacher, planetarium, and observatory director with over a decade of experience in the K-12 and college classrooms. Whether you're just getting started as an educator or a veteran teacher looking to keep your students engaged in the classroom, the Layered Earth Geology will meet and exceed your expectations. The Layered Earth Geology can be used as an instructional tool in the classroom at home, or even on the go from any internet-connected device using simulation curriculums, web browser-based simulations. No software installation is required. How does the Layered Earth Geology align with standards? These lessons meet and exceed Next Generation Science Standards' three-dimensional learning goals with a high correlation to individual state standards. Lessons focus on real-world applications, data analysis, critical thinking, problem solving, disciplinary core ideas, and cross-cutting relationships. Simulation Curriculum offers flexible subscription packages to accommodate any number of students. Click on the link in the description below to visit thelayeredearth.com and contact us for a quote and ask about receiving your free trial code to get your own hands-on experience with this robust geology education tool. Each unit includes multiple lessons that provide learners with step-by-step -step instructions to successfully prepare them to make predictions, manipulate the simulated environment, and solve problems through targeted exercises designed to challenge common misconceptions. Exercise enhancements and student workbooks are also included. Each lesson is self-contained, allowing for the curriculum to be flexible and scalable. Teachers are free to use as much or as little of the curriculum as they choose. Recognize cross-cutting relationships between Earth's atmosphere, hydrosphere, cryosphere, biosphere, and geosphere, and the interconnectedness of the Earth's system. Slice open and dissect the Earth to reveal its inner workings and identify its layers and heat sources and compare and contrast the oceanic and continental crust and the relationship to their mineralogy. Unravel the mystery of continental drift using the evidence gathered by Alfred Wegener. Reference paleomagnetism data as a record of seafloor spreading activity and record how the movement of the continents relates with the geologic timescale. Identify examples of Earth's divergent, convergent, and transform boundaries, and determine the driving forces involved in the theory of plate tectonics. Define and classify minerals by their physical properties of color, streak, luster, cleavage, fracture, and hardness. Travel to numerous mining locations across the globe and observe the global distribution of the precious metal gold. Classify the three rock types and how their mineralogy and formation processes through the rock cycle are connected. Observe the formation of the three rock types and the relationship between their physical and identifiable properties, their location on the Earth, and the environmental conditions that they were formed under. And compare and contrast chemical and mechanical weathering and how climate, topography, parent material, plants and animals, and time play an important factor in the development and formation of soils. Compare Earth's internal and external processes and their effect on Earth's surface. Identify the four agents of erosion, gravity, moving ice, running water, and wind, and the high cost of soil erosion on human populations and ecosystems. Classify both fast and slow mass movements and the associated dangers of these surface hazards. Relate earthquakes to their source along fault zones and study the propagation of P waves, S waves, and surface waves as they travel through the Earth's crust and its layers. Determine how the propagation of P and S waves helps scientists identify and locate the depth of the crust, mantle, and mantle core boundaries, and measure the relative strength of earthquake waves and identify risk factors like tsunamis, liquefaction, landslides, and fires often associated with earthquakes. Compare the position of Earth's hotspots, divergent, convergent, and transform boundaries with the position of volcanoes on Earth's surface. Follow the Pacific Rim of Fire and beyond to visit composite, shield, and cinder cone volcanoes. Learn about the hazards associated with volcanoes and the risk assessments and monitoring that takes place to protect nearby populations from their destructive forces. Employ the concepts of relative age, unconformities, cross-cutting relationships, inclusions, and correlation to place rocks in sequence. Understand the process of radioactive decay and its use in conducting radiometric dating of rock and fossil samples to determine absolute ages. 
identify relationships between Earth's major geologic and biologic events over eons, eras, periods, and epochs. Take a multidisciplinary approach regarding supporting evidence for the biological evolution and extinction of life on Earth. Make predictions about the future shape of Earth's continental and oceanic surface as a result of plate tectonics, and draw conclusions related to the death of Earth as a result of a cooling Earth and a larger, brighter, dying star. Blared Earth Geology has all of this and so, so much more. I hope that you too get to experience the power of the layered Earth in your classroom. Subscribe and click the notification bell so that you don't miss future videos featuring extremely helpful instructional tutorials and product updates. I often use Simulation Curriculum's Interactive Curriculum Labs as one of the first experiences students have with new content. This lab-first approach allows students to come into the activity with questions that they can attempt to answer using the simulations and provides context for the subject during our classroom discussions and other activities completed afterward. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, the present is the key to the past.